Hello everybody and welcome to Kaldenberg Consulting TV. I am your host, Brian Kaldenberg. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, congratulations to Phil Mickelson for winning the Masters. I, I was, not going to lie, Tiger's return, I kind of wanted Tiger to win, but uh, definitely not upset to see Phil win that and um, much deserved on his part. Him and his family, it, it sounds like, have been through a lot the last year and uh, that's, that's number three for Phil, so congratulations to him. Wow, big news out of Google this, uh, this past week. Google had a service that they were beta testing for the last year, and, it, and it's called Google Content Advertising Remarketing. And this, folks, is going to make some serious waves for Internet marketers, and it's just an excellent idea, and it's really going to help out um, a lot of people who do online marketing. And let me just break down what Google Content Advertising is first. I know we've talked about this in prior episodes, but uh, this is a—it's kind of a spin-off of content advertising, and it—and it makes just excellent sense. And and so, what content advertising is is Google um, partners up with hundreds of thousands of websites across the internet. Um, and these website owners want to make make a little extra money, so they will place ads on their websites or spaces where they'll allow Google to run advertising. And and the benefit of it is the the website owner gets paid a commission based on how many times people come to their website and view that ad, how many times that's clicked. And then the benefit to Google is they don't have to. Uh, they, they can just partner up with these websites. They don't have to produce some con the content themselves. And then the benefit to the advertiser is they can run ads all across the Internet through Google, and uh, Google handles the facilitation of running the ads and the billing. So it's really a, a great way for advertisers to advertise. And then Google also takes it a step further, and they allow, um, if you, let's say you sell Pro V1 golf balls on the Masters theme here, Let's say I'm a company, I sell Pro V1 golf balls, I sell some other golf accessories as well, but I want my ad to run anywhere on the internet where people are talking about Pro V1 golf balls, any website that allows Google advertising, bam, I can send that out and Google will find all the websites out there or pages where someone was talking about Pro V1 golf balls and my ad can run. And now where Google Content Advertising Remarketing comes into effect is you can now run ads on the content network to only people who have visited your website. And so let me break down a situation for you here. Let's say, again, we'll use the Pro V1 golf ball example. Let's say I have my website, ProV1Discount.com, and I run ads on Google Search for Pro V1 golf balls, bulk Pro V1 golf balls, uh, maybe discounted Pro V1 golf balls, People come off of that search onto my website. I, I have a cookie on my website, on that landing page, that then is installed on the visitor's browser. And so they might come to my website, uh, they're just looking around, they weren't quite ready to buy yet, it was interesting, but they, they weren't ready to buy my Pro V1 golf balls yet. They leave my site, guess what I can do? I can say, I want to run ads on anyone who's come to my website, and leaves without buying, I want to run ads on them. I want to expose them to my ads for the next 30 days. So they could go off, they could go to Facebook, this person might travel the next day, they go to Yahoo Finance, and then maybe they go from Yahoo Finance to, uh, maybe they go to, uh, they start reading a, a blog on Improve Your Golf Game. Well, that blogger has partnered with Google AdSense and runs ads, we've told Google, okay, we want to still run ads on this person who visited our site and left. The Google AdWords, the Google Content Advertising Remarketing Tool now allows you to do that. So you can, theoretically, I like to call it an offensive rebound. Uh, as a basketball team, when you're trying to score a basket, uh, you're not going to make every shot. And just like when someone comes to your website off of an ad or they just are browsing, they stumble across your website, you're not going to make every sale. You might have interested them a little, but they weren't ready to buy quite then. 
if you get an offensive rebound in a basketball game, you get another shot at making that sale, making that basket. Whereas now Google content advertising remarketing is really giving you the ability at an offensive rebound, another shot at that customer as they're traveling around the internet for the next, and it wasn't just 30 days, Google recommends 30 days, you can run your ad on them indefinitely. So as they're bouncing around the next couple days on the internet, maybe for the next couple weeks, you can run an ad that exposes them to your advertising uh, and, and you know they were already interested once because they visited your site. So maybe you offer 20% off. Maybe you offer, you expose them to advertising for the next week. Still nothing. Still didn't get them to bite. So then you, they go into another list where you start running a 20% off coupon. Maybe that gets them to bite. And so this is going to be just a tremendous tool. I think Google stock after announcing this is going to go through the roof. It was up. Uh, it was up almost two uh, percent today alone, and uh, it's going to be just. I'm really excited for it, and so it's just another tool that Google has in their arsenal now to make advertising uh, easier and and more niche and efficient. So, if you guys want to learn more, you sign up for a Google AdWords account, and uh, we can help you with that. Uh, if you if you're not doing Google advertising right now, you're really missing out because the eyeballs, folks or on Google and the eyeballs are moving online and you really need to start getting your offer out there and so we've been setting up Google advertising campaigns for over five years and we can definitely get you going in the right direction. Um, question of the day is there is some privacy concerns with uh, this Google remarketing. How do you feel? Um, do you feel that if you go and you you were looking at buying a product and you, you might have been interested enough, but you didn't buy it right then and there. Do you think it's fair for that advertiser to be able to market to you when you're out on other websites? Now, that ad, you, it, it, without this tool, you would be on another website exposed to a different ad. That, uh, it, it's, you would be exposed to ads no matter what. But do you think it's fair for the advertiser to be able to uh, dictate the ad that you are exposed to on other websites. Now, I personally don't have a problem with it. Some people might. So I want to hear you guys sound off. What do you think on that? You guys have a great evening, and we'll see you next time.